September 20, 2017. Culture News. When does Rosh Hashanah 2017 start and end? Rosh Hashanah is the Jewish New Year. The biblical name for this holiday is Yom Teruah, literally, Day of Shouting Slash Blasting. It is the first of the Jewish High Holy Days, specified by Leviticus 23-23-32, which usually occur in the early autumn of the Northern Hemisphere. Rosh Hashanah is a two-day celebration which begins on the first day of Tishri. Tishri is the first month of the Jewish civil year, but the seventh month of the ecclesiastical year. For those who are unfamiliar with Rosh Hashanah, one of the most important holidays in Judaism, here are some basic questions asked and answered. Why is it called Rosh Hashanah? In Hebrew Rosh has many meanings, including head or first or start, and Shana means year, with Ha simply meaning the. In combination, the name of the holiday translates as head of the year. When does it start and end? In 2017, Rosh Hashanah begins at sundown Wednesday, September 20, and ends with nightfall Friday, September 22. Technically, the holiday is September 21 and 22, the first and second days of the month history on the Jewish calendar, but in Judaism, the day begins at sundown the prior night. That's why the Sabbath every week begins at sundown Friday and continues until nightfall Saturday. So Wednesday is Erev Rosh Hashanah, or Rosh Hashanah Eve, and marks the beginning of the holiday. More info about Rosh Hashanah. According to Judaism, the fact that Rosh Hashanah is the beginning of the year is explained by it being the traditional anniversary of the creation of Adam and Eve, the first man and woman according to the Hebrew Bible, and their first actions towards the believed realization of humanity's role in God's world. According to one secular opinion its origin is in the beginning of the economic year in the ancient Near East, marking the start of the agricultural cycle. Rosh Hashanah customs include sounding the shofar, a hollowed out ram's horn, as prescribed in the Torah, following the prescription of a Hebrew idol to raise a noise on Yom Teruah, and among its rabbinical customs is attending synagogue services and reciting special liturgy about Teshua, as also enjoying festive meals. Eating symbolic food such as apples, dipped in honey, is now a tradition, hoping thereby to evoke a sweet new year. The evening before Rosh Hashanah Day is known as Erev Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah Eve. As with Rosh Hashanah Day, it falls on the first day of the Hebrew month of Tishri, since days of the Hebrew calendar begin at sundown. Some communities perform Hadarat Nedarim, a vow abdication, after a morning prayer on the 29th of the Hebrew month of Lul, ending at sundown when Erev Rosh Hashanah captured it. Oil. The mood becomes festive but serious in New Year's anticipation and Jewish synagogue services. Many Orthodox immersed in a small bus to honor the next day 